Well, Doug and Shelley, this isn't the first time people have broken into this place near Central and Eubank. Over the last couple of years, the owners here tell me that they've installed surveillance video, motion detectors, alarm systems. They've also put a bunch of barring here on the windows, but none of that stopped this latest trio. Well, it's extremely frustrating. You know, it's, it's expensive. It's, it's hard on us. King Kong Customs Audio Shop is out about $15,000 after three men drove into their lot. See that little gate in the back corner there? They rammed through that. Ravaged through some cars. He rips the amp out of that thing like he's trying to start a weed whacker. Then came here, actually ripped off this motion sensor and then slammed that car through this garage. That's when the three thieves get inside and start shopping. They took 10 of these. A lot of speakers, some very, very very expensive subwoofers. Um, they took one sub that was valued about $2,600. All with that five finger discount. They took amplifiers, wiring, a computer. Just look at the surveillance. These guys had a field day. So it's like the old 80s TV show, the game show, where they run through the grocery store and try to throw as much money worth of stuff in their cart as they can before they run out of time. Jokes aside, owner Kurt Nilsson tells me this is at least the fifth time people have vandalized or broken into his place. He says it's getting old. It's sad it, that people have have gotten to the point where they feel like they have to steal from other people, you know, to support their habits or or just to get get ahead in life. Now you may remember a huge fire here at King Kong Custom Audio is in their back shop over here. The owners describing that is just devastating and they're still reeling from it. Really, Kurt Nilsson telling me that if he makes another insurance claim, he thinks he would actually be dropped. Reporting live, I'm Angela Brower, KYT Action 7 News.